It was the ordinary day of school, really. At the beginning, I didn't know what was happening. Just like a normal, ordinary day. Well, it started off when I was arriving at school and I was just Josh talking about the football. It was like a normal day. Yo, Astro, you're alright guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you do your maths homework? Yeah, it was so easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never even got it. Easy. I got stuck on the last question. Oh, that was so, that was the easy. Yeah, homework. I just turned, turned around, like, looked at the four this ball, and I just, like, picked it up. I didn't think anything. It was a rugby ball. I mean, a rugby ball. How can you think anything of it? Wait, come on. So. Answer me this question. What do you think is wrong with Mr. Newton? I don't know, he's been acting weird. He's you telling me his car's always in the parking lot. He never changes his clothes. And his room always smells like gas. The ball was like hot and I just thought it was like a normal ordinary ball. Josh um chucked one ball, he got my ball, chucked it to the person that was calling him. I really speak to him. That reminds me we've got someone to best to meet in period one. You didn't need to tell us. What just told you? We went to the site, the meeting. So, at a mach weird machine. Where's that? Where's my That's it. Oh, okay. Mr. Newton. What are you doing here? We've got a meeting. No, that's not right. Are you okay, sir? Get away. Just get away from my invention. Um, what is it, sir? None of your business. It was like shouting like a different person. I wasn't listening completely because I was looking at the paper. Just get out! Go! Why isn't it working? Why? No. I was going to first period and I saw this boy named Connor. Um, all I wanted to do was land a bit of money off him, so I decided I might go and talk to him at break time. This is me. He's just going, nah, no, I don't want to give you any more. You never repay me back. And I was thinking, it's just 50 pence. It's not down the world. Oh, did you spend it on that stupid doll over there? <laughs> I blacked out and I couldn't remember anything. We went outside and spoke about our experience. What was wrong with Sir just then? I don't know, it was like acting really weird. What was he doing? He was shouting at her. This boy running, running up to us asking for help. You are right? In really sharp drive. Oh, what is that on your hand, honestly? That, that shouldn't be there and it's disgusting. And the thing he had in his hand was okay. goo, but it was more than goo, it's just not like in this world okay. or something. We need to take him to the lab really quickly, all right, come on. We split up to try and find sir. We went up to the lab. Come on. You're right. I'm going to get the goo. No, don't touch it. It could be infectious. Just go and get Mr. Latter, all right? Okay, um, Connor, I'm just going to take this off your hand, all right? Connor, keep speaking to me, all right? Keep talking. Oh my gosh, it's like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. Ask her what's going on. What's the matter with Connor? Oh, Where's he right placed down? Connor? Right, Astro, can you give me a hand, please? We need to sit him down to one side. Um, yes, yeah. How long has it been like this? I don't know, about 10, 15 minutes. Right, what's it in your hand? Hello? Hey, Connor? Josh, where have you been? We were supposed to meet a happy club. Can you listen to me? I got a phone call me? from Josh saying that he was in the like basement of the school. All right, okay, we'll see you there. It's Josh. He's found Miss Newton and Sarah. Come on. Astra, where are you going? I'm sorry, Mr. Cargo. Um, where? Where are you going? We'll tell you later. Josh? 
Josh. I was going to go meet um, Astra and Josh and Lewis at lunchtime, uh, but they weren't there, and I saw them going down to the cellar, so I followed them. Astra. It was pitch black and I couldn't see anything. I just found myself absolutely, totally lost. I didn't know where I was. What is going on? Yo, where'd he go? He did some weird stuff. Do you follow him? Come on! And then we, we went to the school cellar. We saw Sir, we followed him. I've been waiting for you and your precious little minds. Science ambassadors, meet the goo. No, no wait, the goo will absorb your minds. You've got to get out. And then we ran. I heard a scream. We just ran. Anyway, next thing I remember, it all went blurry and I just kind of passed out, I guess. And we didn't stop. Where's Josh? <laughs> what do you mean, where's Josh? He was right behind us. He wandered off, he's done a way to. What do you mean, Eddie? Don't say, Louis, don't say that. How did I feel? How did you feel? Right, I want you to barricade the door. I'll see if I can see anything on this internet. Louis? Have you barricaded the door? I've locked it. Barricade it. We just ran here, blocking the door. Done. He's gonna be okay, isn't he? Josh. Well, he's gone. I'm just gonna try and call for help. Look, serious. It's not just school, it's everywhere. It's not real. Science is facts, and these aren't facts. This just doesn't happen. We've got to record this. Come on. Has your phone got a camera? Yeah. Pass here. So, how did it start with, with you? Well, at the beginning, I didn't know what was happening. I keep hearing voices in my head telling me to do things. I don't feel too well. Sometimes I feel like something's telling me what to do. They're telling me to get the science ambassadors. I can understand, but that's sort of scary. Get them. So how long do you think we have left? I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's long. I mean, it's only a matter of time before... <laughs> Oh, you seem to come. Oh my god, Hello? 